Hi guys, uh, this is a bonus video for this week to mark what I think is worth marking anyway. Um, the day this is going up is going to be the 13th of June, which marks three years exactly since I first started bullet journaling. So for my setup for next week, um, I'm going to replicate in here and tweak a little bit the very first bullet journal spread I did from my very first bullet journal. Um, because actually I think at the moment with a couple of tweaks this would work really really well. So I've recently kind of moved everything around in my office and was looking through things and thought actually looking back at some of my old bullet journals um, give me some inspiration for things to try again. Um, so this was my first ever weekly spread and for where I was at the time this was working really really well so I had this set up for the week and then I had full page dailies afterwards um, just while I got into the groove of things but I felt I needed a um, a dashboard of what was going on uh, for the week so I had all sorts of events and a couple of like priority tasks um, on my weekly view, I had the calendar, I did have a meal plan, um, sort of a general to-do list for the week, things that I wanted to get done, note section wasn't used um, and then my upcoming section were things that I needed to be aware of that were coming up um, so that I wouldn't kind of lose track of everything and I think most of my initial inspiration did come from Boho Berry, um, hence why it's it's there. So I've been thinking about, toying with how I might set this up in my bullet journal, um, my current bullet journal. Uh, I have got my tool pot and I'm actually going to pull things out because I think it's just going to be easier. Um, I'm going for a blue theme in honour of the blue theme I had originally and I'm probably going to tie that in for the whole week as well. Love the noise pens going down. Um, and then I have marked it, there it is. Um, I've already done the calendar because I'm a little bit precise about things at the moment, um, unusually for me. Uh, so I'm going to go for a weekly overview here with a few extra bits and uh, I'm going to have like my weekly focus because that's something that's been really helping and then this page is going to come kind of like a catch all everything else. There will be counting. I'm going to put that out there now because I know some people have said oh counting would be good. So I'm going to use this one so I've been using um, my Tri Plus Fine Liners and my Mard Liners to create this and there is counting so first of all counting uh, one, two, three, four. I'm going to use four squares per day to create my rows. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Uh, and then I'm going to have an extra one at the top for um, my headers for the week. And yes, I have got my ruler. I have been using a ruler recently. Um, I, I know I've been through phases where I'm like, what is the point? Um, at the moment, it's just kind of... I think it's come from some of the therapy stuff I've done where about being mindful and being present in the moment. And actually, it kind of slows it all down, allows me to really think through what I'm doing and just be aware of everything. So I think that's where it's come from. Um, so, yeah rulers come back out, my Erin Condren ruler. I, I do not have a ruler that I use as much as this one. Even other versions of the Erin Condren ruler, this is the one that I always come back to, which was my very first one. So, yeah, I've been looking through all my bullet journals. I've had a look through this morning at some of my previous other planners as well, looking back at spreads and things particularly holiday spreads where I wasn't at work and how I use the time and things um, and also because there's an upcoming blog post on past spreads so I'm gonna go with that. So I've thought carefully about what I want to include on this overview um, and I've been dipping back into the bullet journal method book um, looking at 
some more minimalist, touristic approaches, some people might call them. Uh, and so I'm going to keep my dailies relatively plain for this week to see how it goes. One thing I have started doing, which I really like, is having my Penguin Joe weather stickers. Um, so I'm going to have a space for those. Uh, because why not? Just to record how much of this month of June has been wet and grey and horrible. Uh, there we go. Uh, then I've got this larger space. So what I've decided to do, so I've written down a note of all the square, me the measurements that I wanted to use. That's what I thought. Uh, I have written, written? No, let's start that again. Um, yeah, I made a note of dimensions for everything so I wouldn't lose track of my counting and things and then I've just completely forgotten it, but it's okay. Uh, so this one is going to be eight squares wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not bad. Eyeballing. Um, it's going to have space in my meal plan here. And then this is going to be everything else for the day. In terms of events, reminders, etc. So I'm just going to fill that in. And then I am going to have an overall header. So I think I'm going to go with how one dot. I'm going to go with this one. A bold bit of turquoise. Now I debated about doing some kind of banner. Um, I think I'm just going to go in with my normal kind of header type routine because it's quick and simple and I'm enjoying the quick and simple things at the moment. And next week is the 17th. Yes, it is. 17th to the 23rd. That's handy, isn't it? <laughs> Having that little calendar there. I, I, can't, I don't really draw calendars, but I thought if I'm going to honour where I started in this spread, which is the point of it, I'm going to go with it. Um, so I will just highlight this week because I can. And then splash of colour. Because why not? So that's the setup. Um, I think I'm going to go headers in blue rather than black. Why not? So events, appointments, reminders today. Today. There we go. Today. This is going to be my meal plan. If I've not already said that, I have no idea whether I have or not. And it's going to be for the weather. And then very simply, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that's that set up, which is really nice and quick and simple. Um, and then... Gonna underline that. I'm gonna go back to the black. I'm gonna have this week's focus. So, if you're new to my channel, I think I've said this quite a lot lately. Um, probably just because of where I am. My weekly focus comes from my weekly review that I do on my passion planner. Um, so that won't get filled out until closer to time. Uh, I'm going to go in with a little bullet for each of the different meals in the day. Um, my meal planning I do on Friday, but I'm going to do it on Thursday this week because I'm going away. But I do know that Monday will be eggs because of going to guide so I'm going to put that in already to remind myself um, so Monday is guides 
Tuesday I have my session. Um, the last one next week actually. It's going to be a bit weird not having that routine on a Tuesday. Um, and then I also have doctor's appointment just kind of checking up on how things are going um, Saturday is the early Beth designs annual event Wednesday is what's new Wednesday And Monday also the um there's a group blog post going live on the Abeth Signs website. So I'm gonna put in group blog. Okay, so live. So that's just a quick overview of all the events that are going on in the week and that's the purpose of having this because it's just helpful to know that and whatever stage I've been at, having a weekly reference of what's going on has been helpful. Um, whether that's by setting up all the days in advance, doing a dashboard or some description, it's just what works for me. So, then we're going to go over to this side of the page. This is going to be the nice, quick, simple setup, I hope. So, we are going to start off with marking down the side of the page where the halfway-ish mark is. So obviously there are a, sorry, really weird truck just pulled up outside my house and it's distracted me. Anyway, um, there are now 37 uh, squares vertically, so you're not going to get an even split on the page. I'm going to have the one bigger space at the top and the one smaller space at the bottom, if that makes sense which comes to 18 and 19. So counting time again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 is there. I'm just going to put a little dot. And then I'm also going to do split my bottom section. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, I'm just splitting this with dots because what I did originally is I kind of drew around each dot on the page and I'm just going to go over it with my mild liner to have a similar kind of setup. So this is going to be uh, notes, sort of general things to crop up. Um, upcoming, so anything I need to think about that's on the horizon that I need to be aware of during this week, even if I haven't quite got to it, because sometimes that does happen. And then this is just going to be tasks. At the moment, I'm just going to leave it as an open list because there are things that I need to do at some point during the week. Um, but I may turn that into sort of a running to-do list. I haven't quite decided. And then I'm just going to do a simple line across the middle of those headers. And that is my setup for the week at this moment in time. Uh, the weather stickers I will add in each day. Um, the meal plan will get filled in uh, tomorrow or today if you're watching this on Thursday and then um, the focus will get filled in on Sunday once I've done my weekly review. So that is a tribute to my first ever bullet journal spread. Um, I'm just going to see if I can open it up again and show you guys. So that's what it was and that's my updated version of it. I 
think I left that a bit too quickly, but never mind. That's years ago. This is now. Um, so I hope that you found that helpful in some way to create a simple weekly view. Um, as I said, this is just kind of my starting point, and then I will have dailies after it in a traditional um, sense. Uh, I've gone back, I've reviewed my bullet checklist, um, my bullet key, sorry, so that I can create my lists in the way that's intended and just try and get back to like that. I, I don't want to say proper way of bullet journaling, but it kind of is. Um, so yeah, that's that for now, guys. Obviously, my passion planner video is coming out as well um, in quick succession after this. And there may be another bonus video next week of something else as well that is yet to be decided um in the meantime in the description below are my social media links to instagram and my facebook page and my blog um and yeah look out for future videos if there's anything you want to particularly see me do or any particular questions please leave them in the comments below um i'll be back and in the meantime happy planning